All right, boys, we're going to get right into it. We got these dev notes. Let's see what they're talking about. All right. So, you see, this is just them basically saying, hey, you know, uh, they have some stuff for us in dev note too. Yeah, they want to complete these by 11.3, but we'll see. Um, a companion system. Okay, so looks like they're going to be bringing out a new companion system. Um, okay, that's fine. But what are we going to do with them? That's the real question. And how we're going to get them. Uh, okay, so it seems to be epic evasion. Now, now, here's my problem with this. I feel like they're going to make ranking rewards be the epic invasion, which is going to be so bad because now the only people who has made it up to 1 million are whales and low spenders. And that's just a fact. So now they're just going to give out more rewards to the top and leave the middle man to dry. That's this is basically where this is going. Um, alliance ranking rewards. So again, more things for whales. Uh, and then RNG luck. So, you know, we're going to have to get that in there. Um, okay. So we're having another epic invasion. But at this time... It's not going to be Thanos. It's going to be whoever that guy is back there. I don't even know who that is. Uh, but it's fine. Um, so, Icarus, so, Icarus. Okay. I like Icarus and Cersei. I like those two. They're pretty fun. Um, that's fine. Just just so you guys know, uh, Thanos is a deviant. If, if any of you guys didn't know that. So, let's see what we got here. Um, an alliance war beta. Um, I feel like this would have been hype maybe weeks ago, maybe even a month ago. But I think everybody has come to this consistence that you know, alliance aren't really needed, I guess. They're fun and to give you know, a community, something to chat about and things like that. But the problem with a lot, this is going to be with the Alliance War is every server is just going to have like one or two alliances all at the top. Because that, that's where all the big sweaty, try hard YouTubers and whales are going to be. Um, uh, what I might do is I might leave my Alliance a couple of times uh, just for a little bit. Go play with the Big Boy Alliance. Uh, get some content on it to show you guys how it is. And then after that, I'm probably just going to be done with it. Because it's just going to be more paid to whatever. That's just where this game's economy is going. Um, again, this is just something for the whales. Uh, you, got, I mean, you can just pause this and read it. I really don't even care that much. Um, okay, so here goes the big things um so they want to give a transmutation um as mentioned in death note 2 the new feature called transmutation will add increase the usability of costumes and omega cards um you can use a transmutation to change your costumes omega cards to be usable for another hero in your squad okay uh, for costume let me hear that equips the costumes will change um oh, what do you mean by that for costumes, only the hero that equips the costumes will change. So are they saying, let's say, because I have in my storm, I have two Sakaar arms, right? Um, Spider-Man uses Sakaar. So if they're saying I can take a Sakaar arm and throw it onto my Spider-Man and it becomes a Sakaar arm Spider-Man, I, I highly, highly, highly doubt that that's what's going to happen. There's going to be some form of currency uh okay so i'm gonna guess when you round up a card it's gonna change the exclusive stat of that card when you roll it up on another hero so i think i think that's a good i think that would be a good trade if it's just one for one like um and i mean like there's no premium currency involved at all you can just go ahead and rank it up i think that would be awesome uh Oh, okay, so it's just including regional gear. That's fine. Okay, that's fine too. Um, now, this one right here, I know I've seen some people happy about this, but 
here's the thing. It's it's a nice addition, but now you're gonna have to use more of your conversions, right? So we was already low on conversions. We use them for everything. So we're just gonna they just, what they did, and, and on top of that, they already took it away and um, from our blitz about lowering our blitz. Um, like these systems are good systems. Don't get me wrong. We just know with net marble, they giveth and it taketh, because you know that's just how their motto is. Um, and this is basically just for you big welly boys out there. Go ahead and uh, start rerolling your stats on your nano fusion. So that would be fun. And it seems like the community is really liking that one. So that's good job on you, Nat Marvel. Good job on you for getting something good. Um, now let's actually talk about the maintenance that we're going to have tonight. So it seems that in this maintenance, we're going to have some regions collapsing in with each other. Or not really collapsing in. It just, I, I guess what it looks like is they're just going to go ahead and put some people in some matching queues. Um, so it looks like they're going to be adding Omega Flight into the East. So that's going to be in the South America as well. Okay. All right. So it looks like they're going to be moving those over there. It's not too bad. Um, so this is what it is. This is going to be the matchmaking. Okay, so here's my problem. Here's my problem. People don't really care too much about the matchmaking. What people care about is they want to walk around the servers and see a lot of people. So, like, as much as I normally get hate for saying this, and I don't want it to, it would have been so much better for you guys to go ahead and just throw a mega flight into one of these servers to have more people. If you want me to be completely honest with you guys... You guys should have went ahead and condensed all of New Stark City into one, all of Hydra Empire into one, and all of Nowhere until one. Um, I understand that New Stark City has a lot of people, so maybe you could have condensed that and had New Stark City one and two, and then go ahead and throw a mega flight into New Stark City two. Could have definitely did that. Um, but I feel like most of the people... They want to play the game, and they want to look and chat, and then somebody's calling out a world boss today. You just go there, and there's a lot of people. Like, not too many people really care about queuing up, because none of the game modes really matter if you run with someone or if you don't. So, that's just my piece on it. Um, special offer. Uh, okay, I guess there was a bug where nano fusion offers weren't popping up when you first nanoed yours. Okay. Um, so we already know that it's going to be today. Uh, we already seen that though. What? There you, okay, that made no sense. They just did this three times. Why would they? Oh, okay. For 24 hours after the maintenance end, please note that the VLA might depend on maintenance schedule. Okay. So we got more bug issues. Let's see what's going on here. Um, you guys can see. I'll give you some time. But, so they fixed Captain Marvel's. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, well look. All those bugs for you people. Um, we already know what the new event's gonna be. It's not really too much. Oh, there would be a Halloween theme event. Okay, let's... I'm gonna be hot about that one, at least. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the maintenance will be completed, then we'll have that. Um... Alrighty. So there you go, guys. Those are the patch notes and the dev note that we had. Um, I'm not sure how you feel about it. Um, I would say that I'm very optimistic. Um, I'm not going to be cynical. I'm going to just go out there and say, um, I feel like if this was any else other company, I would be excited. But since I've been dealing with Netmarble so long, I already know how they work. But, um, you know, if you have your own thoughts down in the comments, just leave it down below. Comment, hit the like if you like what I'm doing, and um, peace out.